Hello there, welcome to my channel. My name is Doug and I'm back with another fountain pen video. Members of my channel get sneak peek unboxing videos, usually on Wednesdays when I have new pens coming in. I hope members won't mind if I share this particular unboxing with everyone. The reason is, I want to announce a new series of videos that will be going up every Sunday for the next number of weeks, possibly until December. If you've been watching, you may have seen my video where I showed how I found and restored a vintage fountain pen, the Eclipse Zephyr. Well, since then, I've been touring Southern Alberta antique stores, and I've rounded up quite a few vintage fountain pens to restore. So I've decided to share with you this recent vintage pen unbagging to show you what I found on my first antiquing tour, right now. <music> So you may have seen the video that I did restoring this Eclipse Zephyr, Canadian made 1930s pen, celluloid. I purchased the pen from a, an antique dealer here in Calgary uh, for about $12. So uh, today I went back to that store and looked for more pens and I found some. And let's unbox what I found. First one is and here it is it's called a I don't know whether you can see that or not Lugu Lugu fountain pen and the clip says Lugu on it as well and it's celluloid a blind cap which comes off and it's a button filler and I don't even know whether that and it's very crusty. So I'm not even going to try to move it yet until I soak it. It feels rusty as well. And that finial looks like it's fallen off. The clip is kind of off center. This feels like mid 1930s as well or early 1930s button filler. And it has a indeed 14 karat gold. It says first quality 14 CT warranted I don't know what warranted means and there's an ebonite feed right there it's a little bit off the whole thing is solid with old ink I can't get the section off so I'm going to do some work on this but I will take this pen through the process of seeing whether I can get it cleaned up and whether I can get it working or not more adventures to come and then there's my second find right here this is a gold filled Parker 45 in really really good shape and here's the tag on it again this is the name of the seller here Parker fountain pen gold plate 36 bucks Canadian I figured this was a 45 when I first saw it and there of course is the 45 and that nib I have no idea whether it's gold or it is steel it doesn't look like if it's gold it has any gold left on it but it certainly looks like steel and a lot of dried ink so this is going to take some some work as well some cleaning I think this has been sitting around for a long long time it came with a dried up cartridge that I've since taken out the Parker 45 is one of the most beautifully balanced and comfortable writing pens that Parker ever made. That semi hooded nib is very interesting. So we're going to see about renovating, restoring this pen and see what it might look like uh, after I worked on it for a bit. Something to look forward to. I made this. <laughs> 